So today we're gonna take a look at my DJI RS2 gimbal setup because as of right now, I believe that this is the best gimbal that you can buy in 2021. There is a couple of reasons why I think that and I also stated that in my previous video. But let's talk about my S1H setup that I have on this gimbal and why I think that you will get the most out of the money when you buy this gimbal. And if you don't know anything about me, I have a long history of working with gimbals and my channel is packed with amazing gimbal videos and tutorials. So just recently I shot a couple of videos for a guy called Hadeep because he was attending the World Class Cocktails. And normally this event is live, but as of right now because of COVID, it was a virtual event. So he had to get a couple of videos produced for this event. And one of the cocktails was inspired by Tivoli here in Copenhagen. So we had to go to Tivoli and shoot this video. And we didn't have permission to bring all the big fancy tools and stuff like that and a big production crew. So we just me and him walking around in Tivoli shooting. And on that shoot, I actually only took my S1H camera as it is here and the DDR S2 gimbal because I could pack this down in my little backpack, the, the douchebag, and we could go around unnoticed and shoot the things we needed. We just needed B-roll for the video, so it was pretty easy to shoot. But let me just show the video, it's one minute video, you can see what I mean and try to see if you can see which one of these shots in this video were gimbal shots and which ones are handheld because it's a mix of both. I only use my gimbal when I need to. All of the shots I shoot handheld. But let's roll the video. Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, has developed from a small harbor city into a modern metropole. Yet one thing has remained the same, Tivoli Gardens, hidden in the very center of the city. Opening the gates in 1844, the garden arranged with beautiful flowers and entertainment remains the oldest amusement park in the world, even inspiring Walt Disney to create Disney World. Take a long stride in Tivoli Gardens and all your senses are stimulated. You cannot help feel nostalgic, despite you've never been here before. That powerful fairy tale feeling of being transported into another time is the experience I want my drink to give. From the magical gardens of Tivoli, tea is made from roses combined with grass, but in this case from barley and wheat, a mix of grains just like Black Label. A steep capturing the smell of popcorn and the taste of candied apples. All blended together as Johnny Walker himself would do. Carbonated and served tall like the magic towers in Tivoli, finished with a tiny touch of childhood memory. I give to you once upon a highball. Score. All right, so that was the video. And as you can see, the shots that are gimbal shots are the shots where I'm moving around. So all the other shots where the camera is just moving a little bit, that is the handheld shots. And all these shots I just shot with the S1H holding it like this. So I didn't even have my big S1H rig, which I normally have when I shoot because we just wanted to go unnoticed. So this handheld shot and in-body stabilization of this camera is just amazing. So in my previous video about the Weeble, uh, Weeble 2 and the DDR C2, I actually stated in the end of the, that video that if you were to buy the big and expensive combo versions, you should rather go and grab the DJI RS2 because this gimbal with the pro version is $9.99, which is a very good price considering what you get. You will get the Raven Eye setup, you will get the follow focus motor, you'll get the case. You will actually get everything you need for a full professional gimbal setup. The good thing about the RS2 is that you can keep building this gimbal out. There are so many accessories available for this gimbal. So you can just go for the regular gimbal without anything to a big and beefy dual handle cage setup. Whatever you want, you can mount it on a car, you can take the handle off. There are endless possibilities with this gimbal. All right, let's just take a moment and talk about the Gimbal Academy, because if you want to learn all aspects of working with gimbals, you can now join for $2.99. In my last video, I added a 40% discount. This I will also add for this video because it's summer, it's hot, and this is the best time to learn to use a gimbal. So 
If you're interested in the Gimbal Academy, you can now join for $2.99. The link is down in the description. Go sign up. I will be glad to teach you everything I know about gimbals. So you can just take the short route to getting great looking footage. All right, let's get back to the video. First of all, the gimbal is made of a carbon fiber, which makes it super light, even though I have my S1H and this back handle here, which is not a DJI back handle, but it works very, very well. It's from Lancy. This setup is still light to carry around. Uh, it feels light. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't wear out my back when I shoot. So this is the number one reason why I like this setup. The next thing is that it is so damn easy to set up. I can balance this gimbal beforehand and then I can just break it apart into small pieces. If we see here, if we power down the gimbal, plug out the, the camera, we can lock all the locks here. Oof. There we go. And then I can take off the tripod and the side handle. I can take off the battery grip and if this breaks or the battery runs out of life, you can just replace the battery grip. And then on, on top here we have the Raven Eye, which you just slide off right here. There we go, that's the Raven Eye. And then you can actually take this part off as well if you want to. I take this off when I need to store it, then I can just take this one off and I can take the back handle off here and then I'm only left with this thing. So you can break this gimbal down in so many small parts, then you can fit it into any backpack. And I recently made a video about the douchebag, uh, the Backpack Pro, where I use this uh, gimbal here to put in there. This is also the setup that I had with me in Tivoli, and this is the setup that I travel with. So go back, watch this video if you're interested in that backpack and, and you want to see how I use this setup uh, with a small backpack. Let me just go over some of the great features that I really like. The grip here on the, on the DJRS2 is very, very nice. And the follow focus wheel up here, which I currently use for the tilt motor, I rarely use the follow focus motor. When I do, I use it for the ND filter to exchange exposure mostly. But it's really nice that you can use it on the tilt motor because that is the motor that I adjust the most. If I need to adjust the tilt, I don't have to pull the gimbal with my hand, which you can do, but I can just roll this little follow focus wheel here and it will roll. And then the trigger is right here in the front, which works perfectly. And when you're going to balance the gimbal, it has this little knot here so you can micro adjust the gimbal. So if we open it up, you can see, you can slide this forwards and backwards, which is probably the best thing about this base plate uh, that DJI has made. Again, I would say get a back handle for the gimbal because if you are going to shoot in the briefcase mode or the, or, or the um, underslung mode, it is much better to have the back handle. If you buy the combo, you will get the backhand extension and then you'll just have to take another tripod or the tripod from the bottom and put it up here in the back. It also works perfectly, but what I like about the Olancy one is that if I wanted a dual handle grip, I can just rotate this around. You can get the same from DJI and I can slide this one in, there we go. And now I have a full dual handle grip for this gimbal. So again, it's just amazing. And if you want to use the Raven Eye, all you have to do is power the Raven Eye on. I don't use it that much, I would say. And then you slide down and it connects. You can see there's a picture. You can't see it because the wall is gray but it is actually a picture. And one of the great things that they've done is that if you wanna use the tracking, you just press once and this little green dot comes around and this gimbal tracks very, very well. Even though if I go behind objects or the subject go behind the object, it will find you again. So the Raven Eye works flawlessly with this system. And it's so easy that you have this little screen here where you can see 
uh, what it's actually tracking. And for the modes, I have three custom modes. I have M1, uh, M2 is pan tilt follower, and the M3 is the lock mode. I've made my own custom lock mode. And then of course, again, the settings is a huge part of getting good footage. So if you want my custom settings, I have made a downloadable PDF that you can download. I will link it in the description. You can also go back and watch the video that I made about the smooth settings for the DJI RS-C2 and the RS-2. I'll link the video down here as well. All right, folks, that is what I got. If you have any questions about the DJI RS-2 or anything else, you can always drop a comment down below. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filming in motion. And lastly, stay creative and stay safe. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.